Good morning, good afternoon, good evening guys, wherever you are on this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel where you hear strange animals on the background, I don't know what it is, but I have many really cool, cool, cool charts today. Please, completely watch the video to the end, because you'll be amazed with this information and those animals, I don't know what it is, but thinking they are doing jiggy jiggy or something like that. Now, let's quickly jump into the chart over Everywhere you turn First chart. This is the four hour chart. Like you can see, the long and the short flags is the bam bam indicator. Not going to talk too much about it. If you want information, go to the bitcoinfamily.com. But these short flags and long flags tell you when to buy. Yesterday I made the video that we were in the long and that, that we were waiting for the short to stop uh, that trade. That trade would have been stopped over there. It would have been a small profit, only like about 2.95%. That's three percent without leverage, with leverage a little bit more. Now again, we are waiting for a long flag to appear. Like you can see, and that is what I want to show you, is that the bandwidth of this Bollinger Band is getting very thin. And all the moments it's getting too thin, we have a breakout to the, do to the downside or to the top side. But that is what you can see on the next chart as well, guys. Check here. Bam. This is uh, the day chart. So we're zooming out. On that day chart, we're finding support on this very important line, the 200-day moving average. This 200-day moving average has in history been a very important support. You can see that we have been negative on the Bam Bam indicator for a long time, a lot of yellow and even bluish, that the bottom line over here now is at the level of 33. The moment we are uh, at the top, we are at the level of 78. So we can double in line volume from here. The long flag is already being built up. We still need to close the candle above the yellow stepping line. When we close that candle above the above yellow stepping line, I believe we will first go to this red line of 50k. That would be, if you look to the chart, just a small candle, you know, <laughs> it's just a 5k candle. We have seen them before. Um, and then when we break that midline, we can always take it up to the top of 58k. But again, we are seeing some positiveness come into the market. We need to close above that yellow stepping line. Um, if you want to uh, trade all of this at the indicator or your own manual trades, then please use the links down below the video because Bybit at the moment has a $4,100 up to $4,100 deposit bonus, which is huge. Plus, they also now have this competition where if you save your bids, you can um, participate in their like free launch pad. So if you have your bid tokens, you participate in the launch pad. You get access to IDOs. You get free access to IDOs, new launching uh, projects that uh, you get your tokens for, for free. They're really cool at Bybit at the moment. Um, also, it's almost Christmas. If you want to buy something for your wife at Christmas, go to yolofamilytravel.com and there is a shop. And in the shop, we sell all kinds of cool Bitcoin stuff. Don't worry, be happy t-shirt, the hotel cap, the Believe t-shirt, a really cool Bitcoin hoodie for um, the people that are now in the less warm areas. So we have them in, um, in pink, uh, but they are also in black, they are in red, they are in green, whatever market uh, you feel, blue and light blue. Really cool for Christmas. Uh, special price, 27 euros, that's like $30 or something. Now, now we are going to jump into some more beautiful charts. Bam, this one. This is, I think, a very important chart. I'm going to share this one. I'm going to put my face down there, very small. Why do I think this is an important chart? Guys, just have a look. This red line on the left, this was the halving. This was the halving on the 28th of November in 2012. The top after that halving was 12 months later. So that was plus 12 months. Then the second halving was in July 2016. From that moment, it took 17 months to the top. December 2017. Now, the halving this time was May 2020. If we would have copied the first bull cycle, that would have been 12 months. We should have seen the top on May 2021, which kind of was a local top in my opinion. If we would have copied the second bull run plus 17 months, the top should have been in October 2021 plus 17 months, May plus 12. 
um, is May 2021, and then you get to the uh, June, July, August, September, October. That's how you calculate it. <laughs> oh God. Um, but what if we do another five months extra? Because 12, five months later, maybe another five months later, that would bring us to um, the halving plus 22 months, which would bring us to March 22. That's the third green line. It's just, I'm not going to say this is going to be true or this is going to be definitive March 2022. I'm just saying, if you see what happened in the history and the bull run top was in a little bit later every time again because you're calculating from the halving, then it could happen between now and March. Just saying. Also, if you look at the RSI, the long-term RSI is pretty stable. We're finding support, but if you look a little bit more um, short term then you can see that from the halving over here the RSI has been going up tremendously and we didn't break that support line so we I, in my opinion if you look and compare that one with here there was the halving look as long as we didn't break it we went up and the moment we broke it that's the moment we started the bear market we didn't break anything yet in my opinion so in my opinion we still need to get that blow off top over here what does a whale think about this? <clears throat> Let's see over here. Um, what the whale is thinking. The big whale I've been tracking. Ah, he sold one Bitcoin. <laughs> I think he need to cash out one Bitcoin. You can see 119,492 to 190,491. Um, but a few days after he bought 257 Bitcoins as well on the 14th of December, he has only been buying this dip. Is this in line with the other wheels? I'm going to show you that as well on the next chart that is over BAM here. So the other wheels you can see um, are not all buying. I mean my face is a little bit bigger. Yes, you can see my handsome face. Oh my god, arrogant asshole. Um, <laughs> Bitcoin on chain wheels, fish and BTC USD. So you can see the 1 to 10k range, you can see the 100 to 1k Bitcoin, 10 to 100 Bitcoins, 1 to 10 Bitcoins, and people that own less than one Bitcoin. And you can see who is accumulating. You can see this by um, the blue ones are selling, <clears throat> the, red lines are, uh, the red ones are buying. So all these at the moment here, these are all accumulating. So everybody that owns less to one Bitcoin um, or 1 to 10 Bitcoins, or 10 to 100 bitcoins this area you need to look here at the end they are buying the bigger ones the 100 to 1k bitcoins they are doubting a little bit and the 1k to 10k they are selling but they are selling about one percent you can see over there and accumulating stronger because it's more than two percent so we are now waiting for the wheels are they going to build are you going to start to buy as well just like the other wheel i've been tracking are all the other wheels also going to buy this dip in my opinion they will and that will give us um, these three possible scenarios a really cool report i found on incrementum twitter um look the price range with estimated probabilities is this the bullish halving cycle will be delayed then we will reach 75k to 200k that is this greenish area if we reach the yellowish area that will be between 25k and 75k there's a very small percent chance only 25 percent and then we have a bearish scenario the red one that we have 20 to 35k which would be down here that would be meaning the top is already in my thoughts are between this here there 75k to 150k that is where i think this bull long top will be going to and that means after the halving so you can see the halving 2012 this that one this is darker this is the, the top line that one took what we said 12 months this one took 17 months just like i showed you on the chart and now this one if that will take 22 months it will be somewhere over there so that is what I am expecting, still this run. And then you would could get this um, um, as, as a result of that. Yes, Didi is still bullish. No, I'm not bearish. Still, we break um, the support lines of the 200 on the daily and the weekly. And so, yes, I'm still bullish. Then you would get something like this. 
um, that we are here, and then we get some full moon around 22 uh, March, and that would be a four year phase, maybe even to June, uh, maybe a little bit more shorter, maybe the FOMO will start now in December, January, and then the euphoria already in March, that will be a top over there. That is all what is possible. Uh, this was a really cool report. I found it on Twitter. I think it's created by Incrementum over there, guys. Ba -ba 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 Bam! I hope you really enjoyed today's video. Uh, I think it's amazing charts. If you agree with me, then please give this video a thumbs up, share with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and please leave a comment. What do you think about these charts? What do you think about my beautiful garden here? About the animal sounds that now stopped? I think the Jiggy Jiggy is over. They are all happy, and in a few months, we will have some uh, mini animals <laughs> running around in this garden. Um, guys, thanks for watching. Um, I want to take a sip of coffee. Hmm. And remember you to always zoom out in Bitcoin and try to zoom in at life. Don't freak about every single minute change in the in the charts, but try to freak about every single minute in the day. Try to enjoy the days to the fullest, especially now, just before Christmas with family and friends. Um, I wish you all a very beautiful day and see you tomorrow again. Also, for the ones that are not checking in in the weekend, I wish you an amazing weekend. See you later, guys. Bam.